Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be learning about writing a chemical formula which involves polyatomic ions. Now polyatomic ions are a group of atoms possessing a charge. Now this charge can be positive or negative. Now here I have shown a set of polyatomic ions that we are going to concern in this video. This is a hydroxide ion, a sulfate ion, a sulfite ion, a carbonate ion, a hydrogen carbonate ion and an ammonium ion. So I have put all these ions in a table of your form here and we are going to use this table as a tool for writing the chemical formula of compounds. Now in this side uh, there is a notation of these polyatomic ions and their charges too. Now the second tool that we are going to use is this table. Now this table has monoatomic ions with their charges and valencies. Now let us quickly begin and write the chemical formulae of some compounds. Now first of all we will write the chemical formulae for calcium hydroxide. Now calcium hydroxide is made up of two kinds of ions that is calcium ion and hydroxide ion. Let's go back to check our tools for calcium ion and hydroxide ion. Now let us find calcium here. Here is it. Calcium is represented as Ca2+. This is a calcium ion with a valency 2. And this one is the, uh, the other tool that we are going to use. And here we need to find the hydroxide ion. Here it is and it is represented as OH-. Now let's go back and write those things. Now calcium ion as we saw was Ca2+. And hydroxide ion that we saw was OH-. Now from here we can see that it has a charge of 2 plus and this one that is hydroxide ion has a charge of minus. Now, now it's turn for us to balance the charges. Now how do we balance it? There is one way to balance it that we can just increase the number of calcium ions or hydroxide ions in order to balance their charges. Now as I see that this is 2 plus here. I have to make 2 minus there in order to balance the charges. Now for that I need to add one more hydroxide ion which has one more negative charge. So total negative charge here becomes 2 minus which balances this equally. And so now we are ready to write the chemical formula of calcium hydroxide. Now writing a chemical formula for a compound which has a polyatomic ion a little, is a little tricky in this manner. Like calcium can be written like this, but when you come to hydroxide, which is a polyatomic ion, you need to put these brackets, uh, at, that means you need to enclose this hydroxide ion inside brackets. And then outside you need to put the number of hydroxide ions that you have taken, that is 2. Now let us move ahead and write the formula for some other polyatomic ions with their compounds. Now this is sodium hydroxide. Now we need to write its formula. We can see here that it must be having sodium and hydroxide and when you look for this sodium and hydroxide ions in the tools that we used before, we can find that sodium is represented as Na plus and hydroxide is represented as OH minus and we can clearly see from here that the charge that it has is plus 1 plus and the charge that this one that is hydroxide ion has is 1 minus. Now we can see here clearly that they balance each other. We do not need to balance the charges here since they are exactly equal. Now here we are ready to write the chemical formula for uh, sodium hydroxide and it is this one. Now you might be wondering that why did I put the brackets here as I did before? Actually, we need to put brackets whenever a polyatomic ion occurs more than once in a particular compound. But here, since it is only one in number, we do not need to put the brackets in the formula. Now let's move ahead and write some more chemical formulas. Now sodium sulfate. It has sodium ion and sulfate ion. And sodium ion as we did before is Na plus and a sulfate ion is SO4 2 minus. We can clearly see from here that sodium has a plus charge that is 1 plus and sulfate ion has a charge of 2 minus 
and here we need to balance the charges because they are not exactly equal. So what we have to do is we need to increase either this number or that number whichever is possible or suitable. Now we see that if we add one more sodium ion to this uh, one more sodium ion to this we may find that these two positive charges equally balance these two negative charges and now we are in a position to write the chemical formula of sodium sulfate which is this. Now uh, the sodium sulfate formula becomes Na2SO4. Now here even here we didn't put any parentheses or brackets around SO4. It is because it is only one in number but sodium is two in number so we put two here that's it. Whenever we have a polyatomic ion which occurs more than once in a compound only then we need to put the parentheses or brackets here otherwise we do not need to do it. Now let's write the formula for ammonium sulfate. Now ammonium sulfate has ammonium ion and sulfate ion. Now ammonium is written as NH4 plus and a sulfate ion as we see did before it is SO4 2 minus. Now we can clearly see that it has 1 plus charge and the sulfate ion has 2 minus charge. Now again the step is to balance these two charges. Now since this has less positive charge I need to add one more positive charge to this that is NH4 plus. Now we write the formula for ammonium sulfate as NH4 2 SO4 and we pronounce it as NH4 twice SO4. Now this is the formula which represents ammonium sulfate. Now we see here that ammonium ions are 2 in number. So we put a bracket around it and we write 2 outside. But since sulfate ion which is also a polyatomic ion is only 1 in number, we do not put any brackets or anything around it. So this is how we write the chemical formula of compounds which involve polyatomic ions. So I hope you like this video. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.